Welcome class. Uh, today's video is going to walk you through how to install Eclipse uh, IDE for our class, uh, the Java Standard Edition. First thing we want to do is, is uh, go to Eclipse.org. Once we go to Eclipse.org, uh, we're going to download Eclipse Mars. It, it's cutting edge. This thing just came out June 2015. So uh, hopefully there's not a lot of bugs in it, but we're going to download it anyway. Let's download it. Okay, for the standard edition, I don't want to, we'll download this one later. We'll have a different setup for when we do uh, web work. Right now we're going to download Eclipse IDE for Java developers, the second one. Now you notice up here in the top right we've got a drop down for the operating system. I have Windows. You could have uh, Mac or Linux. Choose the right drop down to pull the right version. We don't want to pull any of these versions, frankly. These are really specific versions for other things, and that's not what we want. We want this guy. So I'm going to click the 64-bit version because I'm running Windows 7. If you're running Windows 7 or 8 or anything later than that, you're running a 64-bit machine. It's probably not a good chance that you're running a 32-bit machine. All right, this is going to download. I'm going to pause this for a second, and I'll be back when it's done. As, ex as expected, that took a couple minutes to download, so I didn't want to hold you hostage for that. It's a zip file. The, the, the file that I downloaded from Eclipse.org is just a giant zip file, 167 megs. I have to extract that zip file. I'm going to do that. Extract. Oops, try that again. Extract. And hopefully this will run pretty quickly. Terrific. Let me open it up. Now, let's check one last thing before we start Eclipse. I'm going to open up a command prompt. I'm going to type in Java, and I expect to see a, re a response. I can ask for Java version. Maybe that's a better way to do it. I'll say Java, Java uh, direct or Java switch version. And it's going to say my Java version is 1.8.045, uh, which is a pretty common version. I should have been one. And my Java home is pointing to uh, Java JDK 1.7. I probably should change this to 1.8. Um, I'll go back to this one later. But at least my JDK I know is pointing to 1.8. Okay. So I'm ready to start Eclipse. I'm going to double click Eclipse. I see Eclipse Mars. That's a good sign. Right at this point, if you did not have a, uh, <laughs> if you didn't have Java installed, you would know it right now. Because it would scream at you saying there's no Java JDK installed. Okay. This is going to take a minute to run. It's starting its initial setup. Uh, it's going to ask me for an initial workspace. So I'm going to say um, J, uh, Mars J2SE workspace. I'll give that an OK. You're going to see some initialization messages. And eventually this should start with no projects loaded. Just take a couple more seconds. That's what I expect to see. Awesome. Let's verify. Let's see if make sure there's nothing else that's installed with this. I'm going to go to help, install new software, and say already installed. I expect only to see the IDE installed. So this is a clean install. Now you notice I have uh, I have a bunch of other installs too. I have a Luna J2EE, a Luna old, a, a, a Mars J2S excuse me, J2EE, I did that yesterday, uh, the one that we just installed, one for Oracle. These IDEs, they take up a bit of space. Frankly, you know, I have terabytes on my machine, so if I have two or three different versions of an IDE, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I may have, in other words, I'll have Mars J2EE and J2SE as two different environments because I'm going to be developing um, Java server faces on, on J2EE and regular standard console applications with J2SE. I just don't want them commingled. I don't care about the space. It's a, a couple hundred megs. No big deal. All right. So first things first, Eclipse is installed. Next, we're going to be start uh, installing the plugins required for the class. Um, and that's going to be in the next videos. Thank you.